It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these NFC West foes. It's the Cardinals and the Rams, coming up next. DA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. Today we've got a solid matchup in store in the NFC as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon back with you. And CD, you look at the NFC West this year, for a while there, this was the toughest division in football. That mantle's probably been passed on, but still, it's a division with a lot of intrigue coming into 2023. And you're right, the mantle may have been passed on, but I would not forget that this division, as you said, a lot of intrigue and a lot of piss fights as well, because Los Angeles Rams, they're rebuilding. Seattle went to the playoffs last year. How about the 49ers? Doesn't matter who's playing quarterback, they are a tough out in Arizona starting to rebuild. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're brought out by a man now in his 15th NFL season, one of the most productive passers in league history, and a former Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Stafford going to put it up right away. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Stafford. That's caught, Puka Nakua. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher guys trying to get to the football. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Didn't get it by much, but bottom line got the first down. Avoiding that three and out, how vital is that on the first drive? To me, it's like the first round of a boxing match. You know, it may not mean much right then and there, but you'd rather not lose it, right? So you want to go ahead and get it, kind of establish something early, and hope it can carry through. And boy, now you see him, now you don't. Excellent move, nice run, winds up getting about six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Now it's Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's Stafford. Open man is Atwell, complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside.
Two yards to go, second down. Off of play action, here's Stafford. Right back to Atwell, that's complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allowed a completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. On second down, Williams. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He lost four there, and it's third down. As a linebacker, you're taught to stay just slightly behind the ball carrier just in case he makes a cutback. But when you find the gap, shoot it. And he found it all right, took it straight into the backfield, and made the tackle for a loss. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And it is caught. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 27-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And so it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. On second and 10, Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. The end result, 21 yards. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. Now Stafford. Touchdown, Ray! Matthew Stafford finding Cooper Cup for the touchdown there. And the Rams will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their six foot four QB from the University of Tennessee. It's Joshua Dobbs. This guy's leadership is so important to how this offense functions. He doesn't shrink from any moments on game day and everything he does, he does with confidence. He sets the example in practice off the field and is the guy leading everyone out for each possession. First down, Dobbs to throw. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And down he goes, but he 
takes it up to the 40. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now Dobbs. And his throw is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Here's second and ten. Now Dobbs. Flushed out right. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Dobbs is throwing. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch, and he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. On the counter, Ingram, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it brings up third and five now. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Play number seven now coming up on the drive, third and five. To throw his doves. Being chased out left. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Oh, Brandon, that's a gamer move right there. Facing third down, steps up, calls his own number, and nearly makes the house call. If I'm the coach, I let him take another one right here. Give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him. And they'll try the option on first and goal. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. They give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off, because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Throwing here, Dobbs. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. 
Rondale Moore from four yards out. And the Cardinals go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead, put it on him, and score a touchdown. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now we've got a third and three. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Short pass tip, but caught anyway. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. From the 41, here's second down and five. Throwing again at Stafford. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely, frees up your guys elsewhere. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Throwing at Stafford. Complete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense and now they get to turn it back to their offense. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Here's more on the return. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Cards will take over first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. 
This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Dobbs now on second down. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Dobbs to throw. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. Well, Aaron Donald just so strong, they can't block him. And he records the sack. Donald just continues to astound with plays like that. Last year, his ninth season in the NFL, and the first time since his rookie year, he wasn't voted an All-Pro. Yet even in just 11 games, had five sacks and made the Pro Bowl. Simply incredible. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. Fielded just inside the 30. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start out here with a jet sweep, and that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there, and they'll go backwards right away. Strong effort by Cameron Thomas to get there and stop him before he could even get to the line of scrimmage. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Stafford to his number one guy cup for Los Angeles first. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Play action, Stafford. A quick throw there is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Stafford now to throw. In trouble and he's taken down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So now Stafford and the Rams, after the sack, now they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, they got him again. 
Loss of 10 as multiple defenders get to him. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Ethan Evans on now to punt. Returning it is Moore. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. The Cardinals offense ready to set up shop. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. On first and 10, Dobbs. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. That's an excellent play by the defender. He diagnosed that one, closed quickly, and helped force the incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw, Dobbs. And that is incomplete. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. So now third and 10, they had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. Dobbs. of nine yards and that also leads to fourth down and this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half but this time they're able to hem him in and it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket in this case you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free you've got someone to tackle him Blake Gilligan on to punt here as he'll send this one away and he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. He'll look to Williams to begin things. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. Now a second and two. Now it's Stafford, off the bootleg. To the right side, and complete to Atwell. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Up the middle, it's Williams. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Brought down by Jalen Thompson. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine. Back to 
Back to throw. Stafford. Over the middle. That's hauled in by Cup. Now this offense on third down today, they've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and five. Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, didn't take long at all. Slam route. I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Off of play action. Here's Stafford. He's going to air one out. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown. 2-2 two -two that well. 56 yards. And the Rams have taken the lead. Tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play, you've got to consider he might try and run basket. So your goal as a defensive back is to give him plenty of cushion, meaning lots of space between you and him. If he wants to catch the short stuff, come up and secure the tackle, hit him a bunch during the game, and try and keep him in front. But if you turn your head for a second, if your concentration wanes, bye -bye. he just takes off and goes. And I think that's what we just saw there. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. On the return, Rondale Moore will bring it out. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Here's Dobbs to throw. Got him in. It's Brown. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They give to Ingram up the middle. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On second down, Dobbs. Caught, it's Wilson. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Up the middle, Ingram. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here.
Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 17-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Ingram at tailback. He's got it running left. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. A nice run there, 9 yards, and it'll be second down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, Ingram. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. Now Dobbs. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Cardinals are an extra point away from evening this one up. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Prater on and the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. So that drive in total, eight plays. And it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Matthew Stafford, the rest of the L.A. offense heading back out there. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his second of this first half, as he'll try again on first down here. the give now Stafford throwing quickly there but it's incomplete and that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time he's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down and that's a smart move to throw it away after the incompletion here second and ten from the 20 here's Stafford that is incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. The offense on third down, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Out of the gun, Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Going all reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with the bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go to try go with the quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. Throwing on 
first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Second and ten. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there of 22. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. Previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Review the play. The ruling on the field is reversed. Winds up a very good call there defensively to challenge that one, as that now will wind up an incomplete pass. Here's third and 10. To the air again, Stafford. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Here's Ethan Evans now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. First down, Dobbs to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. To throw is Dobbs. Incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. On play action, it's Dobbs. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Akello Witherspoon. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense. But this one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. Dobbs. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Now a second and ten. Here's Dobbs to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because any completions on first and second down, now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. Throwing here, Dobbs. That is caught, and he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
that was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. And that's a wise decision. Remember, he threw the pick on the last drive. This time, he says, I'm not forcing one. I'm just getting it out of here. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Dobbs is throwing. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Third down and one. Now Dobbs. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, field goal gets you the lead, and they're in range, but they're not looking to settle for three. They're thinking six. That's a nice throw there on third down to keep the chains moving. On first and ten, Dobbs. They go screen. This is Ingram. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Second and seven. Dobbs. He's got the connection to Moore. So the completion good for just three. And now we've got a third and four. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. From the right hash, this from 33. Prater's kick is good, and they take a 17-14 lead. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there, and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Cardinals out in front. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This is a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same 
after the break. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Field goal, the difference. 17-14 is the score. Back underway here now in this third quarter. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20. Call it the 21. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 43 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. Couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs, and how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. Back to throw Dobbs. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Dobbs now on second down. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with it. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Dobbs to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 33, here's second and six. Ingram again. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, hey, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Operating from the gun. Dobbs has taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open. 
he finds a way to pick up a first down. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Give him 10 yards on the keeper, and it'll lead to a second down. Well, partner, for a few years there, we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL. It seemed like everyone was using it. But it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons, mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit. But when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. And the Cardinals are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets them down to about the four-yard line. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here this close, sneak it. I don't think even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Ingram. Diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Now Prater to add the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here. and Things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because if they don't get some kind of points here, that next drive, that could make this a free possession game. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that will bring up second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he's going to have a Rams first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. But well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. Five yards, now it's third and five. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. From the gun, here's Stafford. Try to find Cup, but it's intercepted. 
Jalen Thompson picks it. And the Cards will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Uh, certainly not his best throw that time and, and not a good time to make it, Charles, when they were a nickel with five defensive backs on the field. And that's exactly why you have those five DBs out there. You want extra speed on the field, guys who have ball skills and understand what the passing game can do and gives them a chance to react and make a play on the football, and they take one of those away. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. But when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Here is third and quite a ways. Now Dobbs. This one complete to Ingram. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. 41 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second and a couple. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. They'll try the air now with Stafford. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They'll fake the give, now Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. 
He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. To throw is Stafford. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on here to punt it away. This is taken at the 15. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Cardinal offense takes back over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. From the lineman to the guy running with it, that was a well-executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Again, they'll run with Ingram. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards to pick up, good enough for an Arizona first. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Now Ingram, he's been busy today. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. And they'll come up second and seven. From the gun, it's a run for Ingram. It'll be a pickup of four, and it winds us down to the end of the third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Los Angeles. It's Cardinal football. They're also out in front of the scoreboard as we get set for the fourth. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing, slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Now a handoff to Ingram. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now, I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I think there's a fatigue factor that's kicking in defensively. You know the will is still strong, but I think the offense is starting to bend it just a little bit, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. It's looked that way. We'll see if they can continue this already strong drive. Coming left, it's Ingram. He stiff arms him. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Here's Ingram. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we gotta get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. They're gonna snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they've got it going today. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Ingram. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. So here comes the veteran Matt Prater in a big spot in this ballgame. He made his first attempt, this from 45. Prater's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that may be not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist, but time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. Taken at the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Rams ready to go on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm OK with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Out of the gun, Stafford. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. The Rams on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This is third and ten. Now Stafford. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Concentration, so key on a ball like that. It's hard. I know how difficult it is, but that's a ball you've got to come up with. And instead, a big play is going to slip through their fingers, literally and figuratively. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 
So a change of possession here on the punt. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 138 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They run from the pistol with Ingram. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. To throw his dives. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. And he'll get this up near midfield, but that's still a few yards shy of the first down. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. On first down, Stafford here. Short throw, it's Higby. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's Stafford now on second down. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical. And you figure, may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You can have the first one for the second one to even matter toward the sideline and look at that catch dragging the toes and that's going to be a first down well done 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17 good yardage on the completion there when they look at the scoreboard they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good my guess they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible so signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. To the air again, Stafford. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Throwing is Stafford. He'll get this one to Cup complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. 
And it's a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cut. And he's taken down inside the 30. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. And partner, they're locked in man coverage out left and they end up running a crossing route. Rounded it a little bit more than a slant. And he's just going to angle himself towards the right side of the field, and that's very difficult for a defender to shadow him across all that ground. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Here's Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. To the right side, and complete to Atwell. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Throwing again at Stafford. That's caught at the one. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Second down, goal to go. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Uh, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Let's go, let's get that touch. Williams he is into the end zone. Touchdown, L.A. And you can bet when they were in that huddle, there's definitely some urgency because I'm sure they were saying to each other, we got to push this one in right now so we have to run this off fourth down and there'll be extra bodies in the hole. That's excellent work there at the point of attack. All it takes is one little crease as he fights his way into the end zone. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Set to return it, here's Moore. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, 
what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts and early opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. Third and ten. Expect a timeout right away if they can't stop them here. Up the middle, Ingram. And he'll be stopped here well short of the first down at the 24-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So now Stafford and the Rams down 27-21. A little under a minute 50 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Now Stafford. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Now it's Stafford. Open man right side is cut, complete. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. This is where, of course, it's good to have a veteran quarterback under center. You would just be able to put on one of those blood pressure clips, and nothing would be different for him. He's done it many times before, expects to get it accomplished again. Here's third down and five. Stafford now to throw. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Here we go on fourth. Stafford. And that's caught by Williams. And he is going to have the Rams first down. Boy, that was a tough couple of yards to pick up, but they convert on fourth and one. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Stafford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And remember now, field goal does you no good. This is touchdown or bust territory. So they took a late shot for the end zone, but the defense, as they've been all game long, up to the task. They'll try again here, second and 10. He'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete to cup. The Rams gonna be forced to use their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. He's back to throw. And that's 
to the left sideline and incomplete. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. They snap it to Stafford. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. Down to a knee. Here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. So it's a win here for the Cardinals, and it was all thanks to the play of their veteran quarterback. Yeah, the numbers don't jump off the page, but he was a steady influence back there. He had a couple of touchdown passes on the afternoon. His guys rallied around him, and they're going to come away victorious. So that'll do it for us. For my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Southern California.